Hmm, that is just odd. Now, I didn't cover every single square inch of the map, and my base is under attack. Well, how's that for convenient? I'm in a mood. I have a shotgun. And no, I won't even be using the axe today. I'm gonna go full shotgun to the uh, to the face on him, more likely. I might switch to my nine if I need. That was pretty flippin' loud. Holy crud! In a world searching for gaming knowledge, comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of subsistence on my softcore playthrough. All right, I've got myself all set up. Oh, I'm gonna put that away. I do have a lock pick, because I'm hoping to find a little bit of magic out there. And you know, I've gotta have the pick for the lock if I want to open it. I'm going ahead and uh, doubling down on getting this going. Making sure my power... Yeah, it's going up. Sweet. That should last for the day. Everything's planted. Everything is fed. I check on my chicken. God, that sounds so bad. But <laughs> yeah, let's check on the chicken and get out of here. Doing good. Chicken, where are you? Chicken's looking good. All right. Oh, go growl at somebody that cares. Oh, let me check my lights real quick, just to make sure. I said that only that one time that I have any damage on the lights. And that wasn't them focusing on the lights, that was them actually trying to shoot me. And his arrow plunked into the uh, lights instead of hitting me. I'm hoping to find a locked chest over here. It seems that this little grove, little path right over here, often spawns a lock uh, chest on this on this current playthrough. I seem to see them over here a lot. Ooh. I'll take regular chest. I'm not gonna deny. Ooh, 244 rounds in a single crate. Uh, more please. And I'm actually getting a good amount of 44 ammo. So I might be taking the 44 out for some uh, some fun and games. Now my goal is not to go after the hunters today. Um, this is a day, uh, a day and a half since I went around and axe murdered all the hunters. Well, you know, I I wasted a lot of supplies. I actually forgot to make some more supplies. I wasted a lot of supplies. That's something I'm gonna have to do and then spend a few days recovering from that because if I'm going to continue going uh, Lizzie Borden on them every time I, I get the urge, the bloodthirst comes over me, I need to have a lot of bandages and medical plants and first aid kit. <clears throat> and, you know, just trying to keep myself alive because I'm not a magical ax murderer. I can actually be killed. I come back again. Hmm. Not that there's lore in this game, but I am curious how do we keep respawning? I don't know. I, I don't want to ruin the uh, the mystique of the game by trying to overthink it. Let's just be glad we can come back. Now in my hardcore world, you don't get to come back. And I'm doing pretty good in my hardcore world so far. Yes, it was very stupid what I did the other day on those two hunters taking an axe to them. It was fun as hell, but I don't think I need to keep doing, ooh, more, more arrows. Please give me more arrows. I don't think I need to keep doing that because that was rather stupid. That playthrough almost ended rather ab abruptly. Actually, I would have laughed my butt off if that had happened. Because I couldn't blame the game. I couldn't blame anybody else except for myself because I went after two idiots with an axe when I should have gone after them with a minigun. Hmm. Have fun, hunters. I'll let the animals kill the hunters today. 
Now, if I see rogue hunters, they're fresh meat. Nah, actually, I don't need to chase you right now, chicken. I prefer to get your little rabbit friends. I want the cloth. I have so many feathers, I don't need uh, chickens right now. Once, of course, I'm putting you in my chicken coop. Like, which one, which one, building or ammo? How about both? With my luck, by the time I turn around, the other one. Ooh. Oh, it's nice on the nails. Now, I have done some work on the base, and I'll show you. Basically, all I, all I did was finally get the ceilings done all the way around. The, uh, the front and back awning both have their ceilings restored. The two outhouses now have the ceilings above them are complete and finished. I put a BCU up in the new uh, plant area, the new grow area. And I'm probably going to add another true grow beds to that mix. As I add solar panels, I can add a couple more uh, grow beds to it. And I'm intending to have four grow beds in there. And you know, it's basically going to be an area that holds my plants, keeps them out of the house. The tool benches, the workbenches, and all that, all my crafting stuff, is going to go out to the outhouse on the far back where all the, uh, where the refrigerator and the, um, the generators you're at I'm gonna put I'm gonna centralize all my crafting stuff over there and then the first floor of the main house is gonna become my living room and uh, bedroom oh and hot tub I'm not gonna get rid of the hot tub uh, I'll think about Ooh, hey don't purr and run just stop just just stop it's okay right by that tree uh, I see you Oh, right over his head like an idiot. Ugh. Literally. I think I shot between his ears. Break that a bit. Ooh, and I got him while moving. That's not something that I do very often. But fortunately, it was a nice straight shot and he wasn't moving, so. But dinner on the run? Please and thank you. I need to be careful. There are rogue hunters on this map. I don't know where they're at right now. But this is one of their favorite areas to be at. I hear ya. <laughs> now I'm trying to be fancy. I'm trying to be fancy in what I'm doing. Uh, Okay, you go that way. I'm going to get these two plants. <laughs> level three bear. See, now the rabbit's being smart. Run toward the level three bear and I'll veer off. <laughs> that was a nice long shot. In fact, let's go find those rogue hunters. I'm having a good loot day so far. Not bad. 344 rounds. Yes, please. Thank you. Now, I don't I don't mind going after uh, the regular hunters. It's just it's no use going after them right now because I've already taken them out and I've already looted all their houses. And it's going to take 3 days minimum before their stuff respawns and it's worth going after them again. Oh, look at that ore way up there. Oh. Not after ores today. Now, somebody's gonna go, but Critical, you just said you need to spend an entire day getting nothing but ores. Yeah, you're right. But, you know, I wanna go find some trouble. Now, her crew just told me a little bit ago, and this time I know I'm right because I just looked at it. Ha ha ha. That he was playing a multiplayer game, 
had a single BCU and they had five hunter bases. Because I was mentioning that I might do a hard, if I, my regular hardcore, well, actually, if it's stable, because he says it keeps crashing when he's playing solo, which is odd because I never had that issue. But <clears throat> if the game is stable, when the next time I restart a solo playthrough on softcore, it is definitely going to be on the multiplayer. It is much harder. The uh, the hunters are a lot more active, from my in my opinion. I think I, I think I would enjoy that, and I would enjoy the uh, the challenge. Now I don't know how many hunters come per BCU. I thought Cold Games had mentioned he wanted he was going to look at trying to do something where the the more people or players that were on the map would cause you to have additional spawns of hunters. Now, he only mentioned it. I only saw it in a post and I never heard if it was actually implemented yet. I ran out of stamina. That doesn't happen to me very often. Which means I need to eat. Eat and let's go and eat up. Protein bar two, and eat a berry. Ah, there we go. Now my stamina should come back up. Yeah. So what happens when I shoot and run, right? Not pausing to smell the the roses. But yeah, he said he was gonna try to set it up so that the number of players would affect the number of hunter bases and the hunters themselves. So I don't know if that was because he had five people playing on the map that they got extra hunter spawns, or if you were doing a solo game, how many hunter spawns would you get? I'm interested just in finding that out. I might even start a solo game on the multiplayer world just to see what a single player and a single BCU causes the hunters on that world to do. I'll think about it. If I do, it's going to be something that I'm not recording. And I would just bring you guys in. I would probably make a, a one by a one by nothing. Make it just make a little cube. Uh, have the bare minimum. Uh, barely survive. And just, just to see how many hunters pop in. I am shocked I haven't run into any rogue hunters yet. I mean, just the other day they were in this little valley, but no lock crates, no hunters, no rogue hunters at least. That's kind of odd. I always seem to run into, yeah, when I'm not looking to, to go uh, Lizzie Bornin on their butts, I run into them all the time. Now that I can't find them and I want to go Lizzie Bornin, I, I, they're just nowhere to be found. Speaking of Lizzie, let's go ahead and make another health kit. <laughs> oh. And yes, uh, Tiny, this is all your fault. Tiny, Tiny's the one that put the bug in my ear that... Take an axe to the hunters. Take an axe to the hunters. Take an axe to the hunt. It's all Tiny's fault, you know? He, he turned me on to it and... I want more. Give me more. More blood, please. <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry. It is so much fun going. But I swear, sometimes the hunter's AI is kind of looking at you and going, Dude, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be doing this. That's why when I did that on Hardcore, I had to do that cartoon style oh. thumbnail where like one guy is watching me axe murder his friend and going, Oh my god, he's fripping crazy. Run! Now, if I'd seen Tidy's meshes ahead of time, it would have been, He's gone full Lizzie born. He's gone full Lizzie. Get out of here. Might as well check on this place. I mean, nothing here should be going on. Eh, quiet. Quiet. Perfect. I have no raw meat. No reason to stop. I'm coming up on the regular. Oh, wait a second. Maybe they were in Cougar Town. 
Am I going to get a high level? I What's the one thing I've wanted is a high level cougar. Now, I want a high level cougar without sacrificing myself to the cougar. <laughs> Speaking of high level cougars. Hello. A level two, huh? Oh, I have. Let me make sure I've got a good. Oh, jeez. On my open multiplayer world, I had the evil thought. I didn't do it, but I had an evil thought. Thank you. I, I appreciate I keep getting the same message to butcher animals every time I kill an animal for the first time each day. That tells there is something wrong. I hope Cold Games does fix it, but there is some type of um, issue with uh, the way the game sees time right now on some playthroughs. So some saves are just perfectly fine and other saves are constantly being um, resetting back to day one on some stuff. Which is kind of weird, but it doesn't really stop me from playing. It just, I keep getting the messages telling me how to butcher animals. Huh, I thought I might find the rogue hunters in this area, but I guess not. I'm not having found them. I've almost gone the entire map. Hmm. Maybe they're over there by Split Rock. We'll go check. I see what that wolf was doing. Don't growl at me. I have an arrow. I'll make you into a, a throw rug. <clears throat> but no, my evil thought was to spawn in, come up into Cougar Town, and then drag uh, a cougar down into the valley where everybody was uh, setting up their bases and then let myself die over and over again and get the get a level 10 cougar roaming the uh, central lake now i never did it but it was an evil thought that crossed my mind i inadvertently got killed by a bear and it made the bear level five and that's when I had the thought, you know, oh, I can keep throwing myself at that bear until it's a level 10 bear and then just walk away for the, for the game and let them deal with it. But I thought, no, nah, that wouldn't be nice. I'm hosting this game. But unfortunately, people were stealing from other people. They were just going around and murdering sleepers and robbing them for everything that they were worth. So I had to uh, shut the game down. I'm, I'm no longer hosting when I'm at work anymore. Unfortunately. But I did help a few people get at least the experience of multiplayer. It, if I helped a few people, you know, get be able to try out the game on multiplayer they weren't able to do themselves, for that I'm happy at least. Man! No rogue hunters. This is just bizarre. I mean, I got a cougar. I'm kind of happy. Six in you off that level two cougar. I keep scaring rabbits, but always I. Okay. It's okay, Mr. Bear. Then Mr. Well, I'm about to have a train here. Try to get some train action going on. So, now that we have multiplayer. And I know it's going to take a while to get the tweaks and get it all working for everybody. I'm going to go ahead and start opening up the floor to what is Cole, what's up Cold Games sleeve for the next update. And if I had to hazard a guess, I would say that the next thing we're going to get is a small to medium map expansion. I have no reason to say that. It's just the one thing that I'd like to say. But I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a small to medium map expansion. So that's where I'm at. You know, place your bets. But no, I'm not taking anybody's money. No, you can't win any money. This is not gambling. But if you want to uh, join in on the speculation, what? let me think what you guys 
either think he's going to do or want to see him do. That's, of course, after he works out all the bugs of multiplayer. And it's really not bugs with the game. It's, it's more, if I understand it correctly, it's more bugs with the back end of the game and how it connects, allows connections for multiplayer gameplay. So the base game itself isn't the buggy part. Now, I think there's been some bugs introduced with the multiplayer it's, itself, but I think the core of the game is still strong and healthy. I just think it's the, uh, that was a weird sound. I think it's the fringes that are, that are having the problems right now. Huh. I really cannot find the rogues today and that's, I'm okay with it. Cause usually I, I stumble on them and they get three or four shots into me before I can even uh, understand the fact that I'm getting pwned by rogue hunters. Huh, seriously? Did my rogues not spawn on the map today? That is seriously odd. All right, come on. Oh, he did that little juke maneuver. Oh, I, I was running, he was running. Now, come on. You gotta admit, that was actually a pretty good shot. That was cool. I get some kudos for that one. Give me the kudos. I want all the kudos. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna start heading home. I mean, I got things to do. I wanna show you what I did at the base and what my plans are. And I said I wouldn't go after the normal hunters, but I was really, really hunting rogue hunters today. Hmm, that is just odd. Now, I didn't cover every single square inch of the map. And my base is under attack. Well, how's that for convenient? I'm in a mood. I have a shotgun. And no, I won't even be using the axe today. I'm gonna go full shotgun to the uh, to the face on him. More likely, I might switch to my nine if I need. That was pretty flippin' loud. Holy crud! I'm gonna pick up scrap and then... Oh, he ducked it! Shoot him in the back. Oh, that arrow just missed my shoulder as I, tr as I moved. That was awesome! Come here. Come here. Hey! You're gonna run. He can run around the bush. It's boom, mother. There's another one. Run! Don't have enough room for anything else. Oh, I got extra spawns, huh? I got... Two hunter camps attack me at the same time. Oh, reload. Run. Oh, I just did it. Anybody else? I'm throwing stuff left and right. What, what am I dropping now? Oh, I think it's stuck in the bush. Um, ah, I don't care about the stick. I've got food. Take all. And what am I dropping? Matches, which I'm okay on. Eggs. What, what, oh, what can I get rid of? Hell. And if I get sick, so what? So that was four hunters. That's an oddity. Was it two separate? I mean, it was four hunters, wasn't it? The one guy here. The one guy over there, the one guy running on the map, and then the guy on the rock. I think that was four. Oh, because I was attacked. Let me check my, uh, oh, my lights look fine. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be going after this BC. Ooh, they, no, not too bad. Oh, no, no, I gotta do some repairs. See, now I'm not cheating. I have to repair this constantly, and it's always getting attacked. And if I let that get blown up, no, I'll start attacking my main base. Shotgun shells. Wow, okay. You didn't, no, no, you didn't protect my house. I'm gonna go see if there's any hunters over here now. That's interesting, I might, okay, there I got one hunter. I love watching the shadow of the bear chasing me. 
That's kind of cool. Okay, they're from this base. I mean, maybe I can... Oh, do you guys see what I see at that hunter base? Oh, yes. Are you done yet, Bear? I see a prize at the hunter base. Actually, my inventory is too full for this. I could have gotten that and ran already, so. Holy hell, it's a bounty of, of riches. I have to run back to the house. I didn't lose my lockpick. Okay, good. I started unlocking it, and then I stopped real quick, and I'm the, the thought crashed in my head. Oh, dude, did you just lose your lockpick? That would suck. I'm going to see if I can get this done before it gets too dark for you guys to see. Now, cold games. I, I don't know if you still watch my videos or not, but the one thing that me as a creator really would like, and it's, and it's not something that you have to do or I'm not going to play your game or anything, but it would be so helpful to uh, to me as a content creator if you could give us the ability to have a a gamma control. And I'm not trying to cheat in the game where I can turn up the gamma and be like the hunters that no matter what, how dark it is, they can still pinpoint shoot me. I'm not trying to do that. I just want to be able to have a video that does happen at night where the where my audience isn't completely blind and can't see anything that's going on. Because that doesn't make for a good, you know, a good video. Though, having this fire right next to this locked chest is actually kind of nice. Ooh, shotgun ammo. The shotgun ammo alone right now definitely made that worth it. And then, of course, coming down here and playing and messing with these hunters made it worth it, too. That was awesome. So maybe I had rogue... No, the, none of those... I'd have to watch back. I didn't think they were actually rogue hunters. They all looked like regular hunters. Let me grab their ash. God, that sounds horrible when you say it like that. You have to really be careful how you say things like that. Do I? I don't even have a glow stick on me. Okay, guys. My time is up. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my softcore playthrough. So much for not messing with the hunters. <laughs> you know? I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.